right, Nick, let's talk about the Michigan Wolverines as we get through training camp. This season, we see one tight end doing really well, and there's an all-time great tight end who said some really good praise about him as well. I'm Andrew, and this is Saturday Morning Inspection. As I alluded to, Nick, one all-time great Michigan tight end, none other than the great Jake Butt, has come out and said some really high praise about Colston Loveland at the tight end position and what he should mean to this team going forward. Let's get on into the article and we can talk more about it on the other side. This is from over on SI.com. It says, former legendary Wolverine tight end Jake Butt said more, talked about Sharon Moore, and offensive coordinator Kurt Campbell need to make the preseason All-American Colston Loveland a focal point of the Wolverines offense in 2024. He said he look, uh, he's the first lock can't miss, but uh, said of Loveland on Big Ten Network. He's a first-round pick. He's likely to win the Mackey Award for best tight end in football. In my opinion, he'll be a first-team All-American. The other piece to this is the system and understanding Michigan is replacing their top two wide receivers. They're replacing a ton of offensive linemen. They'll be introducing a new quarterback, but said, I would be shocked if Colston Loveland, it would be a travesty if he doesn't get 70 plus targets on the season, 60 plus catches. I think he has the chance. He needs to have about 750 yards to break the career receiving yards record for tight end at Michigan. So nonetheless, Nick Butt is saying, He's expecting with all the turnover for Loveland to be a major focal point for this Wolverines offense. I would agree with them here. I'm curious what your thoughts are. But before we get to you, Nick, Michigan fans, in the comment section below, a lot of great options here. We're talking about tight ends. We have one legendary tight end already in this article. Let us know who's your favorite Michigan tight end of all time. I think some interesting answers, but let us know in the comment section below. But Nick, what are your thoughts on what Butt has to say about Loveland? So first of all, Jake Butt is sort of the stereotypical, classic, old school tight end, great blocker, great receiver. I think he would have had a great career in the National Football League, notwithstanding that just unfortunate injury he had in that bowl game, I believe, against Florida State. I believe it was the Orange Bowl many years ago. That was such a disappointing. I thought he had such a bright future in the National Football League, but he's done a good job parlaying his career into the media space. So credit Jake Butt for that. But he knows football. He is a smart, you know, classic old school tight end, complete package. He's not one of these tight ends in name only who basically is a slot receiver. He does it all. He blocks. He understands lining up as an H-back tight end. He understands every aspect of the game. So Colston Loveland getting praise from Jake Bud is obviously a great sign because Loveland is, in my opinion, I think the best playmaker, not just on this Michigan offense but really on their entire team as we get ready for the 2024 season this dude is an absolute superstar and his numbers last year what 45 catches 650 yards four touchdowns they're good but the reason they don't really fly off the page is because as you Michigan fans know this was a running team first a running team second a running team third and you know usually a running team fourth and then and then maybe the fifth option maybe to throw the football right they were a powerful physical impose your will kind of team with Coram and Edwards and sometimes McCarthy running as well. This was not an aggressive passing team, even though they have obvious had obviously NFL wide receivers, two of them now in the national football league. I think we're going to see a little bit of a transition here a little bit with Sharon Moore. I think there's still going to be a run first team, but I think they're going to have to rely on a guy like Colston Loveland to create those opportunities down the seams here to get teams away from just absolutely stacking the box. Cause when you stack the box, a lot of times what happens is it means you're bringing safeties up on the outside, which means the seams are great opportunities to hit slot receivers or tight ends you need to have tight ends that can take advantage of that to get teams out of those stacked boxes and Colston Loveland's that guy and he's a you know known commodity obviously new wide receivers need to step up they'll help with that as well but early on in the season it's going to be really important that Colston Loveland gets off to a strong start to help ease this transition into this new era of, Mich of Michigan football but look I think the fact that he's getting praised from a guy like Jake Butt I mean that's really really high praise I think this is an outstanding sign for Colston Loveland and look I think it's well deserved he's a heck of a player who should have a really great 2024 season yeah, Nick, and I think we've seen the tight end role in the NFL evolve over the last few years. We've seen it in college as well. We all know what Brock Bowers did the last few years. The tight end position can be a very coveted playmaking position, but we go through the NFL. We look at some guys who made it to the NFL from the tight end position recently. They were great in college. You think of the TJ Hawkinsons of the world. You think of the Sam Laportas of the world. You think of you know Kyle Pitts. Think of Brock Bowers, like I just said. 
I think the tight end role is much more important than it used to be. And I think a guy like Loveland is a really great tool to have on this Michigan team. It's like you said, when you run the ball so much, teams know what Michigan is all about. They know this is a run first team. But that gives the tight end of all people a really big opportunity to kind of break out, make some big time plays in this offense. And that's great if you have the guy to make those plays for you. Not a lot of teams have the opportunity have such top tier tight ends loveland's that guy i think michigan needs to use him i think jake butt recognizing that means i'm sure more's probably already recognized that he needs to use him as well so i think we're gonna see a lot of tight end usage out of michigan and i think this is going to be a really big season for loveland